here, here's a, a quick uh, video about doing a roof baseline polyline. <clears throat> here's your gable line. I'm just going to delete that. And uh, I've just got a bunch of things turned off here to, so we can see better. What I'm going to do is zoom in over here, and I'm just going to get a CAD line. And I'm going to pick up this this main layer on this wall right here. And then I'm just going to extend this out. And then I'm going to do the same thing. on this wall and then I'm going to go over here to build roof make roof baseline polyline and then it needs to be selected so I'm just going to click over a wall and then hit tab a couple of times and you can see down here in the bottom, uh, roofs, baselines, roofs, baselines, polylines. So you can see that what it's done is created a, a polyline all the way around your roof. And what you need to do is put a couple breaks in here. So I'm going to use the three key. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to. You know, you can see how the how I can snap to a point, that intersection point right there. So I'm just going to click and hit the three key again. Do the same thing up here, and then this little red uh, selection handle here. Double click that and change to full gable wall. Say OK, and you can see it built a roof plane here. Let's take a overview and see how it looks. And there you go. I, I found that uh, the gable line tool doesn't always work as you've seen. Uh, works pretty well for for some things and doesn't work at all for others. So that's one way of doing it. Now I'm going to uh, Control Z a bunch of times and get back to the beginning. Okay, so there, there's your house as it is now. So the other thing you can do is just use manual roofs. And there's a, a all kinds of ways to do this. I'm just going to do it in 3D view here. In fact, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to switch to technical illustration and come over here and toggle patterns so it's just easier to see. So with this roof plane back here, I'm just going to select it. I'm going to come up here and copy reflect about, say OK to that. I'm going to reflect about that ridge right there. So all that did was just take this roof plane and just copy it and flip it over. And we don't need uh we don't need that. I 
I'm going to take this and just drag that up there. So I've got just a single segment here, and then we can bring that over. And then once I've got this drawn, I'm just going to do the same thing here. Copy, reflect about. I'm going to reflect about this ridge. And so there's your other roof plane. Now that's just a really quicky way of doing this. You need to do some more things. You've got a roof plane that's that's all under here, and you don't need that. So I'm going to hit a 3 on the keyboard here. I'm going to hit a 3 and break it there and I'm gonna hit a three right here in the middle somewhere and we'll just drag this up I got I've got this this segment selected here I'm gonna hit the two on the keyboard and I'm going to select this edge and you can see how that joined up there and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to select this edge, hit the two on the keyboard, select that, and that join that. So now you've got a roof plane here that doesn't extend under this one. And then you need to you need to um, connect these two roof planes. And I got to I've got to do that in in plan over here. So here's your two roof planes right here. that one and just hold control and select them both and let's see if I can find the tool I'm pretty sure Pro has this this is the uh, Polyline Union so you click that say uh, delete original and now you've got a single roof plane right there So that cleans up the, the looks of everything. This needs a little bit of work up here, but I'm not going to go into doing that. This is just a quickie, quickie thing. So there's your, there's your manual roof. Works the same. Um, I'd like to say that you've done a really good job on your terrain. That's nice and, nice and smooth. I never see, I never see a good terrain. I don't do terrains because they're, they're a pain, but, this one looks really nice.